So each team, the person who's instructing, that's the person who's holding the paper, has to figure out Yay. what their off symbol is going to be and yeah. what their on symbol is going to be. I said zero, which means you fill in this box. But if I say one, then you don't fill it in. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to say the black ones are going to be one and the, um, and the white ones are going to be two. Okay, ready? Okay. One, 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 two, 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 two. So in binary, it's kind of like an alphabet with two letters. Like, like having A and B be your entire alphabet, but you've got a zero and a one. The most common way that you use binary is, is in an if statement. It's a classic thing from programming. Uh, the program runs along and it says, if something is true, then do this, or it's not true and you do something else. You know, what if you want to do something maybe a little more complicated? Like instead of an if statement, you want to work with something like an image or a sound in a computer. Now a computer only knows binary, but an image, you know, it's not binary, it's not ones and zeros. So how do you do that? So here's an example. So we have this uh, beautiful picture. Um, now a picture is basically a form of information and all information can be encoded in binary in one way or another. You just have to figure out how to do it. So with this picture, what we're first gonna do is, this all happens in your imagination mostly, and then you translate your imagination into code. So you imagine that we're gonna put a grid over this panda bear. And for each square, we're gonna decide whether that square is more black or more white, and then we're gonna color it that way accordingly. So now each cell in the grid is either black or white, and then, the black squares, we say those are zeros, binary digit, and the white squares are ones, the other binary digit. And then, at the end, you're left with just a bunch of ones and zeros. And that's how you represent this image in binary. Yeah.